If you're anything like me, back in the day, you would have found this under your Christmas tree and just gone nuts over it, destroyed that box before, before uh, you could even get this thing out on the ground. That would have been out in the trash the very next night. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this box, as we'll show you plenty of photos in the catalog. But I want you to, to, to pay some respect here to the collector that managed to hold on to this for close to 50 years. This is an amazing piece. Uh, I want to show you what's inside more than anything, but we're going to show you the outside first. So let's get right into uh, the truck itself. We're not going to focus on this box, though I know you folks love it. And instead, we are going to focus on what's inside, because I want you to see this now. Obviously, it was put away in the box and kept there uh, long enough that it was not getting a ton of play. Work. Now, I hope, I hope that the consignors were able to play with it, use it, enjoy it. I hope that you will, too. But the fact that it remains in this condition is just absolutely spectacular. A lot of times, you'll see a lot of scrapes and cuts and bruises all along there and we are just not seeing that. We're seeing a really nice uh, condition piece right here. The yellow is looking nice without any scrapes or oxidation. We're seeing uh, the windows on this also in great condition. And I'm going to point out the tires. I did not see any cracks. They sprint, spin freely. And we'll show you that a little bit better in a moment. It stands about 27, 26 inches, something along those lines. And it is, I'm going to say, about six inches tall. So we've seen all of that. Let's move even further. All right, so here is the whole package right here. It comes with the two um, El Camino like cars. These are plastic, as you can see right here. They also have, you know, they've got a rubberized. Nah, uh, maybe not. Maybe that's. Well, it's a softer plastic. I don't know if it's quite rubberized or not, but uh, interesting that they have a little bit more soft plastic on them than the, uh, than the actual truck does. But we'll show you these right here. Both of those come right up. We'll probably show you those in a moment uh, driving up the rampway. But let's take a look at the truck. So you can see it does have still the working... Um, ramp right here we move the oh that got loud i don't know if there's a way yeah you can do it softly so it's got the working ramp so that the cars they stay in the little holes right here and when it's time so they stay up there in fact i wonder if perhaps that's designed for something oh no it's probably designed to have one up there yeah let's do it that way and then another one right there so it holds nicely as it drives very cool then when it's time to go for a ride there we go. And he drives right back up. Now, if he doesn't want to go that way, we move this back up again, and we drive him right on up and in. And the same, oh, no, he's in trouble. Well, he's just going to crazy taxi it down. And once we're inside, there you go. This part also latches up and in, and it's important to uh, keep this part all the way up so that can fit under, but there you have it. We're gonna show you this part as well, so you can see a little bit of rub wear. Let me show you the back of the cab. This actually has a little bit of, I don't know if that's just crazing or if that's cracking. We'll show you the bottom, if you care about such things. I'm gonna move the box out of the way because we've already seen it you don't need to have that blocking things up. So we'll show you, yeah, all four tires running real nice. And we'll bring the uh, trailer back over here so you can see, oh boy, all of these running real nice. And surprisingly, the bottom is looking pretty good. So no real issues there. A lot of times this gets all scraped up. So all around a very nice piece for your collection. If you are a truck fan, a uh, collector. If you just like the tin litho and pressed steel toys, or if you're trying to relive your own experience from the 70s, with these toys from your youth, you're really going to like this one. Head on over to thebigtoyauction.com where you can leave those pre-bids right now. You can join us live on auction day. 
and defend those bids in real time. Either way, we look forward to seeing you at the auction.